<laughs> Number 36. Hello, Nicole. <laughs> I'm Col a little giddy. <laughs> Nicole, Colin Patterson, BBC Liquid News. Hi. Talk me through, oh, congratulations. Thank and talk you. me through the sensory overload you experienced from the moment they read out your name until the end of your speech. <laughs> Um, I have no recollection of what I said, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's sort of a very intense but but um, very wonderful experience. So, what's it like? Now I'm there? shy. <laughs> the wrong time to get shy, right? How does it feel to make your mother proud? And uh, did you talk to her about it? And did what was her reaction to your winning? Um, yeah, she's. Uh, I suppose that's one of, you know, as, um, I, I don't know why, but for my whole life it's been one of my driving sort of forces is to make her proud of me. And I think I've disappointed her at times. <laughs> so it was wonderful to stand up on the stage and be able to, um, to have her be in the audience. Mm. Have you been dreaming about, you know, since you started as a kid, as an actor, getting an Oscar and will this change the way you look at your career? I love what I do, you know, and um, and that means you do drama, you do comedy, you do, you look to be diverse as an actress. It, it's one of life. those things where you sit in your living room as a kid with your dressing gown on. Do you call it a dressing gown in America? Probably not, but pajamas. Um, and you watch the television and you think, oh, wow, that would be amazing. Um, to be involved in that, to be sort of a part of that. But you never think that, that that's a reality. And then, um, but you know as a kid that you have a passion and you feel it inside you. And just to, I think, to have the chance to artistically express yourself is such a great opportunity. And um, I'm very, very grateful for it. So, and then to receive something like this um, because of what you do just makes you feel, um, you know, very appreciative. So. I mean, I don't think that there is any sort of confidence in relation to winning an award. Um, you, but I, but I don't have that confidence in relation to even the next role that I do. I mean, just because I won this now, I still go back thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to get fired. It, um, you have to have. I think you have to operate from a sense of. Uh, Everything is new and you're starting again. Um, On your acting. I, I just feel very privileged to have... Acting um, for me at this particular time in my life it saved my life. It, was, it came along and I was so fortunate to get the chance to play Virginia at that particular time of my life because I needed it. It wasn't um, something and unless you're an actor, but I don't know, maybe people do understand that, but it's something where you say, um, thank God that I had the chance to express myself through this character um, at this time. And, uh, and, and so also I think receiving her at that time was very important to me and being able to read and understand her voice and what she said. How mm. did you change into Virginia Woolf completely? And I don't do you know. Love her? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I, I have no idea how people ask you, how do you act? I, I used to say to Stanley Kubrick, how did you come up with that idea? And he would say, I don't know. And I think that that is the most honest answer. There's not like I have some technique or something that I say, oh, I know exact, and it's why I suppose I don't have an enormous amount of confidence when I go back into something. It's because it's so intangible. You're not quite sure how you do it, and therefore you're not quite sure how you're going to do it again.